To help curb greenhouse gas emissions, Denmark is taxing livestock farmers 44 US dollars for their cattle's farts. In Veneto, Italy, there is a tax levied on business owners whose signs create shadows on public property or walkways. This is to ensure access to natural daylight. At a Venezuelan airport, passengers have to pay a tax for the air they breathe. This is to cover the cost of the airport system to purify air and provide fresh oxygen. Let's take a look at unique taxes levied in countries around the world, which demonstrate their historical, cultural, and social values. A tax on sweeties? There are sugar taxes in multiple countries. In 1922, Norway introduced a tax collected on chocolate and sugar for the first time in the world. Mexico, the world's largest consumer of carbonated drinks, is charging a sugar tax of 0.05 US dollars per liter. Finland, the UK, and Thailand are also levying taxes on sugary foods and beverages as a way to reduce obesity and protect public health. If you are in Arkansas and want to get tattooed, ready to pay a tax, since 2005, the U.S. state imposes a 6% tax on tattoos. The tax is also applied to body piercings. This means those who are up for tattoos and body piercings have to pay extra. In India reeling from sweltering heat waves with the mercury hovering above 40 degrees Celsius. A Tivankar collapsed during a live broadcast as the air conditioning system was not working in the studio but Indian people have to pay a tax for using air conditioners. Restaurants with air conditioners installed have to pay a tax, which amounts to 40% of their sales. It is a policy to prevent tax evasion by the wealthy. A tax on motor vehicles running on the road? In an effort to ease environmental issues, the Netherlands proposed a bill to charge a motor vehicle tax of 0.033 US dollars per kilometer on the odometer. However, electric vehicles and buses are exempt from the tax. I'm a proponent of the tax. I think it's a positive thing. Uh, there's going to be a meter inside of the car, which is going to record how much distance the car has traveled. And at the end of the month, you have to pay a small fee depending on how much you've driven. I think that's something that the current government is, is looking into. Um, so, as far as I know, I think that's pretty, pretty unique. I am not sure about the current time, but I do know in the past there used to be a tax based on the width of a building and even on the length of curtains. So, uh, I think if you look back in time, there has always been a kind of unique angle looking at the way we have been imposing taxes. These unique, interesting tax systems around the world show the challenges the countries are faced with.